So we're gonna say welcome to episode, I don't even know what episode this is. It's almost like this is a continuation of the airport series since, but this time I'm sitting, I'm not walking through a crowd. Today we're gonna talk about doing things that are relevant to culture versus doing things that are authentic to you. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. In a business that grows and progresses over time is that the people that got you to where you are now may not be able to change and adapt enough to get you where you need to go to continue to thrive and be successful and keep your doors open in the future. So I'm on my way home from a trip. I just uh, took an amazing trip to Wisconsin for the first time ever and uh, spent some time with a really amazing business, uh, a really amazing dealer group, a really amazing, some really amazing leaders. And I was really, um, I guess more than anything, reminded that the leadership of an organization is everything. It's easy to get caught up in the tactics of doing business and forget that um, the leader sets the tone. And, you know, there's one specific thing I want to talk about today, and it has to do with doing things that are relevant to culture versus doing things that are authentically you. But one really specific example made an impact on me. So the organization I was at, it's Bergstrom Automotive. A very large dealership group it goes from Green Bay all the way down the coast on the wet eastern side of Wisconsin. And one of the main elements of, of differentiation, well, maybe it's not, see, okay, so here's the thing. Everybody in the organization wears a suit and a tie every day. And it's been something that's been really um, changing in the industry at large. People starting to wear no tie, and then it migrates to a polo shirt then sometimes it even turns into a t-shirt because you want people to feel comfortable around you. Um, you know, the research shows that people like feeling uh, that you're approachable and I get it. Like when you're in a suit and tie, I mean, let's think about the times typically most people are around somebody in a suit and tie. Um, number one, uh, could be a doctor, could be uh, they're visiting a lawyer, closing on a house, they got some legal trouble, I don't know. Um, what other areas would someone be in a tie? Um, a business situation, a banker, maybe when you're trying to borrow money or loans, but those are situations that to most people, um, you know, business people are a little more accustomed to it, but to most people, like that could be a situation where it's a uh, high stress, high tension, uh, maybe something's going wrong, maybe something, you know, you're buying a house and it's like the first time there's a lot of paperwork. And so I can see how being in a suit and tie can seem unapproachable. And we all see those manufacturer ads where people go in for service and they're dressed in a suit to get their car service. And I think that like those manufacturers can be a little bit out of touch because that's really not the truth about how people go in for service. However, this organization frames it a completely different way and they don't do it to be like a car guy. The CEO and founder, John Bergstrom says, it's a matter of respect. And our customers are so important to us and they mean so much to us that we get dressed up and we put on a tie and we put on a suit. It's out of respect for them because they deserve it. And I thought about that and I saw everyone in their suits and I realized that that really is the best decision, even though more and more people are moving away from it because it's more maybe culturally acceptable or more easygoing, it communicates something different to your customers. However, if they went that way, it would no longer be authentically them because John Bergstrom sees it as a matter of respect for the customer and he has threaded that through his organization in a way where they adopt it. So I'm gonna say this, like if it's authentically you and it's not necessarily culturally uh, in vogue or savvy, you have to stay authentically you because honesty is the most important foundation of a business. And you cannot be something that's inauthentically you and really connect and really do well. So that got me thinking to the next point. It's like, okay, well, why do people maybe still think that it's, um, maybe people might still think that that is unapproachable or that is, you know, maybe a little unnerving or makes them feel a little uneasy. And you know why? Because maybe they just don't realize 
That's why they're in a suit. Check this out. If we frame it differently, and instead of saying, like people, um, you know, think you're in a suit because you're a businessman or you're important or anything, instead, and they might be a little, um, you know, put off or not a little put off, but even a little nervous, right? Because people get nervous. People in suits, doctors, lawyers, bankers, usually situations revolve around things not going well or things being new and overwhelming. Let me ask you this. If you go out to eat at a restaurant and the maitre d' or the host or the server is wearing a suit and they come up and they treat you well, you don't feel overwhelmed, do you? No. You feel important and you feel special. So now that you think about that and you approach the car business like the hospitality business and I'm wearing a suit because you're special, not because I'm special. Big difference. So what do you do with that? Well, now I think you need to tell people and this is where the branding comes in. So you have honesty. This is who we really are. And now I have empathy. I understand why someone might feel a certain way if I'm in a suit. And now I need to tell them why I'm in the suit. Mr. Customer, you're so important to me that I dress up like this for you so that you feel special, so that you feel catered to, you feel welcomed, and that you're worth it. There's a major difference between those two things. So uh, today and yesterday was a really eye-opening experience, got me to think about things in a new way. So when I asked the question, what's better for you as an organization to do something that's culturally in vogue or something that's authentically you, you have to do what's authentically you. But you cannot stop there. If you stop there, you might lose and ships passing in the night, you might completely miss what you were going for. You have to tell them, you have to understand why they should care, and then you have to tell them that. Tell them why you care, tell them why you're doing it, and then you can make a brand connection. And you know what I say, the brand connection is the center point. It's the gravity, that connection, it's the gravity of why you do what you do, to why they want to do business with you, pulls them both to the center, then you have a connection, and then you have a business. So that's the thought today. I had to get it off my chest. I had to say it before I got on the plane and headed home. Don't give in the cultural uh, fads or whatever's in vogue to abandon what is authentically you, because if you do that, you miss the real opportunity to connect but you can't stop there. You have to help people understand why you're doing it. And to do that, you have to understand them. And that takes work. And that's why it's not easy or everybody would be doing it. So you know what everybody's not doing? Everybody isn't listening to this podcast. You are, which is why I want to say thank you. And I appreciate the fact that you do it. I don't take it for granted. And I hope that together we can keep being authentically us. We can learn from one another and that we can continue to connect with the people we want to do business with connect with each other, encourage each other, motivate each other to take a step forward. So if you're taking a walk today, if you're just waking up, if you're working out, if you're driving in, driving home, sitting on a lunch break, whatever it is, think about today. What can you do? How can your next step be better than it was going to be before you listen to this podcast? That's what we try to do, try to get better. So I'd be honored to be a part of that today. I'm honored to have you as part of this audience. And just keep moving forward, keep pursuing clarity, and I'll talk to you soon. I gotta go, I got a flight to catch. See ya. Uh-huh, and that's it, we're done. <laughs>